Natasha. Um, this is Adrian, and I'm doing a screencast just to kind of show you my final project. Um, I'm not done with it yet, but I didn't want you to have to be stressed about getting the peer review done in time. So I thought that I would just post what I've got for now, and then maybe you'd have some suggestions about where I could add the last couple of things that I need to add. So this is my um, kind of my unit plan. I did this in conjunction with my project-based learning class that I'm also taking. Um, so as you can see here, we've got the URL growingtechnology.weebly.com. When I started building this website, I did not realize that Weebly is having some um, connectivity issues right now. So hopefully it uh, bears with me while I try to show you around. So this is just the landing page and you know it says click on project proposal to get started. So um, I'm calling it Operation Spicy Goodness. And then here it kind of outlines the um, the project and how that all works and what exactly we're going to be doing. Over here we have my annotated um, video which shows the uh, all of the vegetables that we're going to be using and um, just today I thought that I should probably include a video here that kind of reads all of this information as well. Um, so then we go to day one and um, day one um, has a standard here for speaking, listening, and viewing. And um, it kind of shows the project that we're doing is an experiment to see which garden works better, the container gardening or the straw bale gardening. So if they're on the team that's doing container gardening, they need to start here and follow these directions. Each of these links will take them to a um, Google Doc, which I used as a way to kind of do the game-based learning. Um, because what I found most fascinating about game-based learning was um, that feedback should be immediate and ongoing. And I thought that Google Documents was a really good way to do that. Um, so these are articles, and then this one is the Google Doc that they're going to use to do their initial organization, and they also need to watch this video. And then here, same thing for straw bale gardening, except for that the straw bale gardening's website is a lot bigger and denser. Um, and then they've got their video and then they do their initial organization document. So then they go to day two. And this is where they need to make an outline for their project overview. Um, I kind of left this really wide open and I feel like that's um, one of the ways to differentiate. Um, I, I should probably add in here something that they need to do it like using a, some kind of technology base. Um, again, I'm still working on it. The recap page, um, this is where I kind of wanted it to be my universal design for learning um, where they have to kind of understand what they need to do here. Um, so I was going to use um, a bookmaking website that I found to kind of activate the prior knowledge and um, and any, anyway, <laughs> that's what that page is about. And then on this more page it has navigating challenges. Um, which is a site that's about how do seeds grow and um, uh, if they click on the link for their group discussion it takes them to a, um, a Google Doc again that kind of walks them through a group discussion on what they need to be talking about for um, and then they need to design a product for uh, that explains what their seeds need to grow we go back. Um, then we have a companion planting game, which is a game-based learning again, and this is where they're going to design a garden that's very diverse, um, that contains as many vegetables as possible while also being insect repellent um, and compatible with each other. So they've got two charts here that they can look at to help them um, make those decisions, and then I need to create a rubric um, to go along with that. Record keeping. Um, this has a science standard again, maintaining record of observations. And then this link takes them to another Google Doc, which um, each vegetable uh, has a. Oh gosh, I bet you won't be able to see this. I wonder if I can move the screencast. Each vegetable has a, uh, its own sheet that they use to take, keep track of it and um, also to keep track of any observations or comments about the overall health of their plant. Let's go back. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Okay, maybe it's not going to let me go back. Let's see if I can just reload the website real quick. Perfect. Um, and then there's a reflection page, and that's another thing that I need to work on. Um, there's nothing here, as you can see. So like I said, I'm not done with it yet. Um, I'm hoping to have it done by Wednesday, but I didn't want you to feel uh, rushed trying to get your feedback to me. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing yours, and if you have any suggestions for me, I would really appreciate it. Thank you.